sorry about the noise. That's a bit better. Hello guys, so uh, we are back in the room and uh, I'm going to reassemble the drive, so. Got the play face plate. Thing. LED goes in there. Oh yeah, by the way, how you put this thing in, you, you see this little tab right here? Put this over the plastic. And there's some little rails in here. And then you got it. So now we're going to quickly reassemble this. Sorry about the noise. I'm going to be trying slowly but surely slide this. Oh crap, the spring came out. So hard job trying to get this together. Just need to do that. Alright, so guys, we are going to be putting the drive back in the chassis, so just gotta clear all the wires out of the way quickly. And then I can insert this carefully. Okay, yeah, some helpful little grooves in there, so you can see. All right, useful. Now we gotta put. I gotta get a smaller screwdriver. Luckily, this is like Swiss Army knife, knife of screwdrivers. Like there is no knife on it or anything, but it's pretty useful. I gotta be careful with these, so. Four. I don't think that's going in. No, it isn't. Maybe I just need to let's see if we can get the hole. Maybe <laughs> just need to reposition it to the corner. So like that. That is better. Yeah, that's going in. Yeah, that went in. Alright, that's how you do it. Alright, one drive mechanism. Now we just gotta get the motherboard on. This is actually a pretty clever device, actually. This has the own, its own 6502 processor and its own RAM, 4K. So that's pretty clever. So, in. There we 
There we go. We got that in. Now. It was like these. Oh wait, no, that's a case script. Ah, here is that. Okay, that's right there we go it already feels tight though. all right so guys I got the board in now I'm just gonna make the connections and we can be done with this so God help us I remember <laughs> Oh, Jesus, please don't say I'm going to have to take the board out again. Oh. It's coming through. Alright. Got this out. Now we can start making connections, can we? Got that in. There we go. That is all connected. And also, don't forget the power. So, we can't do anything without power, can we? to do is reassemble the case and we'll be good. So let's reassemble. That's tight, okay. Last screw. For some reason we have extras, even though I literally... tell you, there's no other screws. There's just two extra. Anyways, I'm not going to put them in. I'm going to leave them out. Alright. So now we have one drive. And I can already tell that is less yellow. I'll have to make it before and after. 
even though I don't really have a picture of it from this angle. And that is less yellow, so I'm going to put this, connect this up to my Commodore 64 and test it. Alright, so guys, I'm really sorry about it not looking very good, but I'm just... Okay, so, got the drive right here, turned on. And that is a good sign, but not a good noise, but it's probably because there's no lithium grease. So, I'm going to get a little program I wrote. And basic, so I'll put that in. Now, let's see if it loads. That's not good. It could just be that this is not connected right or something. Okay, I'm going to test this out with the other drive as well, so, yeah, that's not a good noise. Now I'm going to try it. Making sure it works in my everyday 1541 underneath. See, that's actually reading. And it already has it, so. So it's a couple days later, I thought, like I was just sitting here and I thought, maybe the drive is set to device 9, so I'm going to try this out. Sorry about the questionable, I found this in my, in a lot, it's a paperboy thing. So I know this works because I tried it with my working drive, so let's see if it's set to device 9. Oh my god! Ah, oh, but there's a read error. Okay, so it actually did something. So it actually tried to read. Okay. But the error. Okay, so I guess we found. It does actually read and stuff. It just has an error. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe, comment. And tell me what you think might be wrong with this drive. I'll see you guys later. Bye.